Hi everybody, this is A3 Readings and hi Leo. How are you guys doing? What's up with you guys, Leo? Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Okay. And towards the end of this reading, I will also be giving you your guided messages. So let's see what shows up, what's happening for you, your challenges, your advice, things like that. So let's have a look at what is showing up for you Leo what is showing up for Leo Leo Sun Moon rising and Venus signs we have the lovers first caught out really Leo what's up with you uh, I feel like there's somebody on your mind, Leo. There's somebody you are very, very attracted to these days. I don't know if it's a new person or like, I don't know. Like there's somebody on your mind, okay? Uh, but I feel like you guys are kind of at a distance. Mm, some of you may be dealing with a Pisces, a Gemini, a Cancer, a Libra, okay? Capricorn maybe. So there's something here with you know difficult emotions like some of you are i don't know how to explain this it's like you're into somebody but there's something you're feeling and it's hard to explain some of you maybe feel like the other person is hard to understand okay with that lover's energy um but there's a choice okay there's a choice the sun card see so there's a lot of happiness that is associated with this connection um something makes you feel alive again it's it's like it makes you feel good now let's give you another perspective if it's not a relationship if it's something else then it's like you're trying to make choices in your life that make you feel happy and content at a soul level okay um let's see the chariot all major arcana so far see justice hello like leo 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 i feel like this message is very important and this is like something very very significant okay because i'm getting an energy that some of you recently pursued somebody but then you had to take a step back from them okay and it wasn't as black and white it was in the gray okay it's and some of you may have also recently traveled and that like something here about you going out of your way to do something it changed your perspective or it changed something in your life with that justice card i see th things coming into balance again okay things being revealed to you perhaps even there could be something legal um, as well, um, Leo, that could be going in your favor. It could be a legal settlement or like something like that. Okay. And I'm really getting an energy here, Leo, that you are trying to understand somebody. Okay. But you're, it's like, something in your life is not clear enough for you to understand if that makes sense okay let's see what is the challenge for leo you may be also going through a time period in your life that, you know, you're trying to make big changes. Like, you're, you're not about those small changes anymore. You're about those big, big changes.
we have the king of swords Okay, so I feel like, Leo, some of you are having a hard time detaching from somebody. And the reason for that is that maybe you're getting a hint that this person could be a player or like they're in and out. I don't know if this is something current or this is something in the past, but it's like you're trying to detach from somebody who you feel like was a player, okay? Yeah, look at that Eight of Cups. Um... King of Swords is very logical. King of Swords is very practical. <clears throat> I'm hearing it's 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 not the time to beat around the bush. So I feel like there's something you need to be very clear about. I don't know if it's about your own choices <clears throat> or it's about something else, like somebody else's choices. If there is something that is bothering you, Leo, about the other person, then tell them that you're doing this, you know? Some of you may be also feeling like you're not as passionate about what you do. You know, you're not as um, just into it, okay? There's something that you're not very into and it could be something related to your creativity or something else, okay? But your biggest challenge right now is that there's something you need to detach from. There's something you, you also need to give yourself time with, okay? Don't try to rush things. I'm hearing there's something you need to do in a very systematic manner. We have the Hangman and the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Hangman and the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Something is taking time, Leo. With the Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, you're thinking about investing into something. You're thinking about maybe, I don't know, starting a new business, a side hustle. You're working on it already, but I feel like some of you are kind of tired or fed up and you don't know when the results are going to show up or you feel like the kind of results that you want to see, they're not showing up. With the hangman and the queen of pentacles a part of your advice here is to give yourself that time okay because sometimes when we are in that transition phase we feel like we don't really understand things but we do and with that hangman energy we do with time sorry let me complete the sentence okay and this hangman energy is is kind of like helping you leo shift your perspective shift your focus Okay. Um, Queen of Pentacles is also talking about knowing your worth. Knowing your worth. of cups hmm. I feel like Leo there's so much in your life that you've done that you've accomplished but you don't give yourself credit for it that much and it's hard for me to really like believe that for a Leo like y'all are confident okay but it's like something maybe makes you feel underconfident. Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords. There, ooh, you're surrounded by new opportunities. But with that Five of Cups energy, you're sad over something in the past or something that made you feel very left out. Some of you have also been disappointed in something related to money recently. Uh, but to me, it looks like you're also looking towards the past. And it's perhaps something with a person a connection some of you could also be getting nostalgic okay see you have so much coming up for you so what's coming in for you oh my god i just noticed you you have gotten um three aces in the reading so ace of pentacles is one of my favorite cards 
from tarot because this represents something legit this represents something stable grounded and the fact that we have knight of swords here is the knight of swords here is saying that this is gonna this is gonna happen really fast for you okay this new opportunity is going to show up in your life sooner than you expect okay um nine of cups and ace of cups could also be talking about self-love and focusing on yourself and when we're not really focused on what we want so much we attract it unconsciously however the knight of swords ace of cups ace of pentacles are telling me that there's something that's about to happen in your life very very soon like very soon so this is going to happen for you um fast okay this is about fast pace manifestation so if there is something here in your life that doesn't work out in your favor or you kind of feel like oh i'm kind of bummed out because i was expecting something else let it be you know because something new or something even something even better is going to show up in your life okay So let's see, Leo, what messages are going to show up for you? Leo, please. Show me messages for Leo. We have Queen of Cups. Ah, there is something about love or your attachment to something that could be bothering you, okay? Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's it's kind of becoming a burden. With the King and the Queen of uh, Panic, uh, sorry, Cups with the Four of Swords, there is love here, okay? There is somebody here who's also in love with you. You both are in love with one another, but there is distance, Leo. There is distance right now between you and this person, okay? And I'm really getting an energy that you're thinking about closing the cycle because you don't want to get heartbroken over and over again. Some of you feel like you're going to get heartbroken here if you still have hopes or if you still attach yourself to this person. You're choosing to let go because the world card, the three of swords and the ten of wands, it is a very painful cycle. Okay. And it's like you're choosing to end this painful cycle and focus on yourself. But the King of Swords is telling me that, you know, you're still in the process of detaching. Seven of Swords, see? You kind of feel like somebody has like away with their words or they tend to get, get away with things or you let them get away with things. Tell me more about this person. Who's coming towards Leo? I feel like Leo, you're dealing with somebody like I hate to say this to you, but they're ignoring you because they don't know what they want. OK. This is a person who maybe runs away from their feelings. OK. They're, they're trying to avoid their feelings, that Ace of Swords. I'm hearing the silence. Finally, you know, the silence is broken. So there is somebody, Leo, who is going to finally break their silence. Okay. Somebody is going to finally break their silence and say something. Because, again, with the Two of Swords and the Ace of Swords, there is maybe there's a lot going on in their life i don't know this is a kind of a person 
who wants to say something to you but they're not they're hesitating however with the ace of swords they wish to clarify things okay and i do see them taking action towards you yeah four of wands four of wands can sometimes also just be an energy of of um trying to make peace with somebody okay so let's have a look let's have a look remember to hit the like button and um, find the link to the extended in the description box hold your vision so leo you're being told here to not give up maybe there's something on your mind that you want to achieve that you want to work towards okay and spirit is saying hold your vision We have be bold and make the first move. Prosperity lies ahead, a new start is coming. Don't let pride get in your way. Is there something, Leo, that you really want to do, but you've been hesitating to do it? Spirit is saying that there's some form of a new beginning here for you, and there's a lot of prosperity, especially in your money situation. But you're, okay okay this message is kind of talking about your unrealized potential okay because there's a vision there's something you want to achieve but you have to take action towards it and as you do that the energy is going to pick up momentum for you okay things are going to move forward okay There's something very positive that you're manifesting, Leo. Let's see what's your guided message to close off this reading, Leo. Okay. Into me, I see. Number eight. Oh, that is you. <laughs> that is number eight is August. That is your month, right? Some of you could be born on the 8th or 23rd. 28th of July. Okay. Number two, three, and eight are very significant. So this card is, I can already see what this card is saying, but all right, let's read for you the message intimacy trust in another dropping shields and rigid boundaries to allow connection the willingness to be vulnerable at certain precious moments you're called into a deep and meaningful connection with the world or another person a magical affinity arises with the kind of intimacy that is that in turn encourages a great understanding of yourself the relationship acts as a mirror helping you see your own patterns what it reflects about you can further you uh, can further your own personal evolution now this is a time to take a risk by connecting with another can you see how far you've come can you see what is still active within you that needs to change or heal you will discover more about who you are as you discover more about another even if you cannot possibly know what it's truly like to be in someone else's shoes you can listen and learn this is a magical gift being offered to you right now this concept applies beyond romantic connection. What do the dynamics in your closest friendships, work relationships, and family say about you? Relationships are extraordinary opportunities for healing. When, when they are based on honesty and caring, they have a great impact on how you contribute to the world. Intimate relationships hold up a mirror of truth and reveal more treasures than you might even ever expect. 
So there is something that a certain relationship is revealing to you, but are you attentive enough to see what that message is, you know? If you can look into it, take a risk and see everything as beautiful, even if it's in imperfections, Im imagine how deep you could go. I feel like um, I kind of am getting, regardless of the message of the card, another message that I'm getting that this card is giving you is to listen to your inner voice. Because the card says, into me I see. So there, is, there are answers, there is something you're seeking, but you're seeking outside of yourself. And the message for you here is to seek it from within. Okay, so that's about it, uh, Leo. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended linked in the description box below if you are interested. Take care and bye-bye.